We're here in with the Egos unit. It's an elite unit, elite IDF unit. Uh, we arrived here in the middle of the scorching day, and uh, thanks to the young Israel of of, uh, of Lawrence and Cedarhurst, who gave an unbelievable donation to this unit. We're giving them gear, everything from these new gear packs, huge gear packs for their for their gear, uh, as well as the water packs. Okay, these are the water packs. Uh, these are three liter water packs instead of the two uh, canteens. Yes, Mr. Mimialov, and Instead of the two canteens, which are plastic, uh, plastic mimiel, we'll show you in a second, which uh, usually after half an hour in the sun, the water turns warm and they have an aftertaste in that water that is something like came out of a nuclear power plant. Um, these uh, these uh, mimiel, or we call them shlukarim in the army, the uh, water packs are insulated and they're three liters, which is more than the two uh, canteens they usually carry, and they fit into the backpack of a uh, combat uh, vest which means they don't have to stop to drink. They can continue in their activity and their operations during the training, and they can they can drink. Here we have the uh, traditional canteen, hated by all. Um, this thing is, it's plastic. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's inside the vest, it's fit inside the vest. In order to drink, you gotta stop what you're doing, you gotta you know sit down or stand up and reach for your vest. It really puts actually soldiers in danger because they can't keep going. Um, and we brought them these, uh, these water packs. I just want to remind everyone that uh, we are reaching out to soldiers all over Israel throughout the summer and we have uh, literally thousands of these water packs that we got to get to soldiers all over the country. If you want to join this unbelievable campaign, you can come to our website www.247idf.org, 247.org, again www.247idf.org uh, and on the, uh, on the front page you have the coffee campaign, I'll explain in a second. And then uh, we also, in the programs, you can go and keep the soldiers cool is the water pack campaign. We need your help and we need your support in order to get as many soldiers as possible. Um, there's a story here that we're going to discuss in one second. Here are uh, the really top line letter mines that we're giving out to all the guys. Uh, they're going to open up and show it to you in a second what it looks like. And we put an engravement on it, um, standing together, uh, as well as the unit's insignia. And I just want to tell you again, I want to thank the young Israel of um, of Cedarhurst uh, for their amazing, amazing donation of Lawrence and Cedarhurst for their amazing donation to this unit. They gave a lot of money, but the love behind the money is much better. Look at that. Right. There you go. We have the standing together insignia on there, and the uh, we have the the um, the uh, unit's logo on there. And uh, these are used day in and day out. Look at these guys; they, they, they're almost shocked to see the um, contribution country, country you guys made in the young Israel of Lawrence and Cedarhurst. Um, we have a really exciting story here, which I'm going to discuss a little bit later. The personal interview. I'm just going to start it off and tell you now that. Um, we have a soldier here who came in from America to volunteer for the army, and if that was it, that would be enough. But this soldier came in from a community which does not accept the state of Israel and does, obviously does not uh, obviously agree with you know drafting at all to the IDF, never mind becoming a citizen. Um, and the head rabbi's grandson, who came from New York to volunteer for the IDF, is here uh, from that from that org from that uh, community. It's a Satmar community, and uh, we have here a unbelievable guy. His name is uh, Chaim over here, and they came in from New York to volunteer from the IDF. Uh, you can see a religious guy, as you can see, uh, came in from Borough Park in New York uh, and volunteered for the IDF. We're going to talk with him a little bit later, uh, maybe later on, in the, either in this video or in another video, uh, what it was like, or, or you know, what made him decide to, to do what he's doing here. But in any case, we really, really, uh, you know, it, it's really unbelievable um, what he did. We also get dry fit, dry fit shirts. And pants with the insignia in Semel, in Semel, Tereleta Semel, Tereleta Semel, with the uh, units, with the units insignia on the back of the shirt. That is the units insignia, the Egoz insignia. Again, this is a really, it's an elite unit. It's not a regular unit. It's part of the Golani. It's part of the Golani unit. Um, they, they were, uh, they really owned Lebanon. Right? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. These guys cannot believe what they're getting. I just want you to know people all over the world. Um, what? It's not normal. I just want you to know people that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not a given. They don't they don't think it's coming to them or they deserve it. But they really, really are, are blown away by what, what everyone gave here. 
And again, I want to thank for again the young Israel of Lawrence and Cedar for their amazing contribution. This is what you guys did. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna. <laughs> Um, so here we are, and I just again we want to say thank you to the young Israel of Lawrence and Cedarhurst. These guys smiles. It's all about the smiles. Here we go. In Hebrew, it says young Israel of Lawrence and Cedarhurst. We're hugging Chayel Eitzal. All right, guys, enjoy. Uh, the children are in the middle of nowhere. Why don't you take a look around here? Uh, this is their base. Uh, they're really in the middle of nowhere here. There's nothing around this area. To get here, it was live. We, we did a live meerkat. Um, and we had to drive through a dirt road for a couple of minutes to get to this area. They're really little to know. They take their phones away for at least a month when they're doing this special training here, which I cannot really tell you about. Um, and they've been uh, really secluded from everyone. And we drove up here in the Jeep and, and uh, really just gave them really what they need. And the appreciation on their faces is worth everything. So uh, again, we, you get the bags, the gear bags coming out. We got the water packs, we got the dry fit clothing, and we got the um, le Leatherman uh, pocket knives and utility tool. Uh, again, I, I'm asking everyone. We do this, you know, we try to do as much as we can. We're gonna be traveling around the country all summer long, um, trying to support IDF soldiers. We have so many units to get to, and we need your support. So if you want to be part of this amazing, amazing, amazing uh, campaign, visit our website www.247idf.org. Uh, you can go on the um, programs uh, tab, and in there is keeping IDF soldiers cool and you can sponsor the water packs. If you'd like to do something like this with your community and sponsor a full unit with full gear, just uh, send me an email. My email address is ari at stogether.org, A-R-I at stogether.org, and you can let me know what you want to do, and we'll, we'll get to as many soldiers you can see. This is, we're not fooling around here. This is not some you know picnic. These are talking about operational stuff. Tremendous gift. The guys are getting to help them uh, serve and keep Israel safe. יאללה חבר'ה, תן איזה תודה רבה עכשיו כזה. מה זהו? מה איפה אתם? אין צעקות. במשוגע! במשוגע! פנטסטיק. Thank you. Thank you very much. You make our life very, very, better, very better. We can, we can do our job better, much better, much, much better. Thank you. Fantastic. You're very welcome, guys. Mefata. Yosheva, Evanti. Vaksha, Vaksha. Fantastic, guys. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. In fact, we're going to get something really cool here. We're going to ask one of these guys for their hats. And the next person who donates 10 water packs to IDF soldiers, I will send them an Ego's hat. This unit's hat, it is an elite unit, not can get in anywhere. You donate 10 water packs to soldiers, that's only $300. It's $30 a water pack. Uh, you know, if you donate... Whoop, we don't want to get you on the video. If we, <laughs> if we donate 10 packs, $300, I will send you an Ego's hat. Um, again, those of you who want to um, contribute to a full unit, just let me know and we will work it out and uh, do it in honor whoever you like or maybe if you want to do it in memory of someone, um, we will work it out. In any case, uh, this is really a tremendous thing to, uh, to, um, to experience. Thank you again, Young Israel of Lawrence and Cedarhurst.